This week's install was a 2020 Tiffin Allegro Red. Uh, customer came in to us, they already had a battery bank installed. Uh, they had some other minor stuff done, but he wanted to have the inverter upgraded so that he could power the whole coach. And so, let me show you what we've got going on. So in the battery bay, we have six GC2 batteries. Uh, we have a, a BMV 712, and then we have a, uh, a 30 amp DC to DC charge controller. Uh, all of that was originally installed by the, the owner. Um, so uh, just making good use of it. There were some minor things we had to take care of, but that's pretty much what's going on with the battery bank. Over here in the next bay over, uh, we did install a uh, multi plus two, 12 volt, or it's 12 volt, 12, 3000 volt amp inverter. Again, being able to power up the entire coach with it. We installed a servo with a touch 70, which I'll show you in a minute. And then we did a 150 85 MPPT solar charge controller with six panels up on the roof. We'll go ahead and flash a picture of the roof install. Uh, panels laid out pretty nice. The uh, overall, it turned out pretty pretty good looking up there. So uh, we did add tilt panels, so the customer can get around to when he goes to clean the roof. He can tilt the panels up out of the way, make sure that he can clean underneath them. So Tiffin originally told this particular customer that uh, the coach would not be able to accommodate lithium batteries. With the changes that we made and the, with the battery bank installed, there's nothing that says that you can't. So uh, right down to the point where we have enough room that even with the sliding drawer, there's still plenty of access for mounting with very little loss in storage capability. One of the other benefits uh, to this particular coach is that the, uh, the onboard computer system to control all the lighting and all that stuff, the onboard con uh, control system did not have any of the inverter functionality already built into it. So the Magnum inverter that was installed in the in end of this coach was a basically a standalone system anyway. So when it came to implementing the, the Victron system, it was really simple. Again, no reason why you wouldn't have been able to do uh, a, a lithium uh, package from the get-go. Currently right now, uh, you can see we've got some pretty good sun going on. The panels right now are currently bringing in 700 watts. So pretty good numbers. The, uh, I believe that the, the solar irradiance was supposed to be right around 600 today. So to, to see the panels performing the way they are now with the sun pretty low in the sky um, and the angle that you're hitting the panels, I think we're doing pretty good. So a brief explanation of what's going on. He's currently bringing in 691 watts. His AC loads, so the refrigerator running, whatever, all is his regular 120 volt appliances in the coach. He's pulling 131 watts, 132 watts. The, his DC power, he's currently pulling about 77 watts, which ends up giving a, a plus going into the batteries of about 474 watts or just over 35 amps. So at this rate, he's, he's definitely, you know, he's charging the batteries. He's, uh, he's making more power than he's using. Now, granted, we don't have any of the lights on the, uh, uh, the coach is just sitting here idle. Um, nothing, nothing special. Um, but 
he still has enough that he's certainly going to be able to, to live pretty comfortable with the system that he's got. So we just turned the lights on. And one of the things that I have noticed about these Tiffin coaches is that they draw a ton of power when you turn on all of the all of the lights on the inside. Um, they draw a ton of power. Uh, so we went from uh, from 70, 80 watts. We're now up to 240 watts. We had dropped our amperage down to uh, 23.4 amps going into the battery from 35. So just having the runway lights or having all the lights on inside the coach, and you're looking at about 18 amps of power being utilized, which is in the grand scheme of things is a, uh, a pretty big draw. So one of my recommendations, if you're trying to boondock for extended periods of time with the Tiffins, you want to make sure that you, you do monitor your, your light usage, your uh, uh, lights being illumination. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you do keep an eye on that. Um, again, it's go ahead and turn it off. Um, you'll see the, the, the difference in the meter just by turning the lights off and the gains that you can make.